Jay Chavon wanted uh, wanted me to uh, tell you this story. On July 1st, apparently uh, in Gettysburg, a 23-year-old man, Benjamin Hornberger of Shippensburg. Why are you already laughing though? I don't know. This guy, he um, he heard. They're laughing at the name well, Hornberger. Okay, fair enough. He heard that there was going to be some type of rally at the Gettysburg National Military Park and that there might be Antifa people there who uh, were protesting against reenactments. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know where he heard this. But apparently there were some other counter-protesters who showed up Dozens of men in camouflage outfits, some carrying long rifles or handguns, or both, milling about the park, holding large American flags. Now, it turns out that none of the Antifa members or no Antifa members actually showed up. But what did turn out is that Benjamin Hornberger, bringing a revolver to the park to protect the reenactors, shot himself in the leg when he temporarily rested the bottom of his flagpole against the holster of his gun. <laughs> Didn't want to keep that safety on, apparently. The tourniquet, uh, there was a tourniquet uh, that the police uh, put around his uh, leg because he was bleeding quite heavily. Apparently, the gun went off a second time uh, when police were trying to unload the weapon. Uh, there were, like I say, uh, militia folks there and a handful of members from the real 3% resin group. The fuck they know about 3%? In one fenced area wearing Confederate flag hats and T-shirts while a lone man with a sign aligning the Confederate flag with slavery and racism sat alone in another fenced area. Sounds like a wonderful way to celebrate uh, July 4th weekend. I gotta say, listen up, Sam, you little prick. Between that and the new news about Steve Scalise, I have a pretty couple of good gun stories for the day. Uh, apparently, the Antifa people uh, couldn't get their Left is Best t-shirts uh, printed in time. <laughs> It we need get to get there. left his best t shirt. <laughs> this is this is one of my favorite things, the phenomenon, because I think this is the second time I've heard of this happening where they people will stage online a, a Antifa protest and tell all of the mo militia groups that there's gonna be this huge Antifa protest and we need a counter protest for free speech, and then they show up and there's no Antifa people there. Oh, and great. then they end up shooting themselves <laughs> literally in the shoot, leg. And then they yeah, shoot themselves. At that point it's just a numbers game. They're fucking idiots. Exactly. <laughs> That's great. Hi folks, Sam Cedar here. We still need your help on our Patreon page. YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.